Okay guys, here I am with another video coming about a small monitor I just received. I got this monitor in the mail through... Oh, I actually ordered it on Amazon.com. Um, it's called a TFT... Um, TFT car monitor mirror mirror display monitor it's 4.3 inches it's color it ships from sometimes they ship from China and other times you can get them to ship from the US it costs about uh this one was about this one was about $25 with free shipping and i saw them about maybe 16 17 18 dollars shipping from China but it's it's a longer wait maybe about two weeks or so sometimes so what it's used for usually is for um, basically for when you're reversing you attach it to a camera in your car and it can pretty much tell you if you're about to run over somebody when you're when you're backing out of your driveway or something like that so that's what this is used for but I'm not using it for that purpose we're gonna use this for the Raspberry Pi so here's the setup I have I have this monitor which came with the box it came in inside the box there was this monitor it had a kind of like a a visor on the top of it. I took this off. This is I'm guessing it's to shield it, shield the sun when you're, you know, when you have this mounted on your dashboard. It kind of shields the sun. Um, but I, I'm not using that, and I'm also not using this. This is pretty much the power um, for this monitor. The monitor has built into it a cable. You see this cable if you follow it down. It's this one here with the red, white, and yellow. The red here is used for power. So the power cable it came with, you can take this power cable, you would connect this end to the red, and you could connect these black and red wires to a battery with the proper voltage maybe about six volts maybe nine volts or so I'm not too sure but you'd have to attach the ends to an actual battery you could probably get the battery from Radio Shack and that you would use for the power for my setup I am powering if you look at this red uh, I'm powering through this here it's a universal power adapter. I have it set on, what is that, 9? So we're at 9 volts. Um, so that is powering this small monitor. I have the Raspberry Pi set up as usual. Pretty much I have the board itself. I'm powering, well, okay, let's just talk about everything first before the monitor. Pretty much I have the SD card with the operating system on it. I have this USB extension, which is, it has the Wi-Fi dongle for Wi-Fi. I have a keyboard and mouse, USB. So here's the keyboard. It's a regular size desktop keyboard for now and a regular sized USB mouse for now and I also have the power the power for this is going to be hooked into my laptop USB so for the monitor part that's the only part that is really different here that needs to be set up so pretty much I took this cable and I plugged it into yellow composite and it goes in to this cable which comes out of the monitor if you see that so 
I plugged in the yellow. I don't think it has sound, but I plugged in the yellow. Uh, the yellow is what we need for the visual. And I don't think that the audio is going to work. And then again, the, the red is power. And I'm using my own power, not the power cable that it came with. So to start this up, all I really do is I take this USB that's going this mini or micro. I can never remember which one is which. And then I take this USB, I plug it into my laptop here, which is turned on, as you can see. I'm on Windows Movie Maker, but I'm using my iPhone. Um, so I plug that in. As I plug it in, it's hard to do this with one hand. So now we're powered in the Pi, and you see this uh, monitor powers on. You can see the wording. It's it's a little tiny, well, as can be expected, but you know it's not so unclear. There we are. We're booted up with Raspberry Pi. And if I want to turn this around, there are some buttons on the back here. You have a menu button and then you have your positive and negative. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing that's how you choose from your menu, up and down, positive and negative. Um, you can see here everything's on. You have the Wi-Fi, it's flashing blue, this is on. You have this red indicator light saying that the Pi is powered on. And you can see here that the monitor is working fine. It's small, if you want to get a feel for about the size of it, um, it's about the size of my iPhone, really. Let me see, putting it next to the Raspberry Pi. Let me stand up here. So putting it next to the Raspberry Pi, it's slightly bigger than the Raspberry Pi, but not much bigger. Fits in my hand. It has a little stand here so you can set it down. And um Yeah. I'll probably be making more videos with this. So you can see the mouse arrow, I'm moving the mouse, here's my mouse, so I'm moving the mouse, you can see the arrow there, and let's just click on something real quick, let me click on Pi Store, so there we go, you see it opens, it's pretty small, but I think it's readable. Sorry guys, I still don't have a, I still don't have a, um, a tripod for my phone, so I have to hold it in one hand as I'm recording videos. And pretty much, I mean, this works. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show, really, was that this works. Um, it looks good. It's small, other than it being small, it's, I mean... You know, for the price it is and everything, it, I mean, you can't really expect too much in all honesty. Let me see this setting. If I click this menu button in the back, you see, and then let me press that again. So I can go, that's in, down. Then I can turn it up with brightness. So you can see there it's getting brighter. I'll put that back in the middle. A little lower, actually. I like things a little darker. Contrast. Then we 
have next setting color. This is dark going towards black and white. This is going to be really light. We don't need that. Zoom. So you can zoom. There's zooming. And zooming again. So it has two settings, I guess, with zoom. It has this setting. So you see it takes like about a half an inch on the sides off and about almost a centimeter on the top and bottom off. So with the screen this small, um, you know, you probably don't want to be having the, you know, your desktop screen to be any smaller than it already is. So you probably want to keep it on widescreen. Um, zoom again. So it still it still cuts off the screen a little bit, maybe about a half a centimeter and a little under a centimeter on the top and bottom. Let's see. And we have language. It's in English. Reset. Okay, we're not gonna reset. So those are the settings. And uh, so this is the setup I have for now. And again, you can buy this device on Amazon. Um, I got the one day or two day shipping. I, I ordered it on Sunday and it came today, this afternoon. It was supposed to come on Tuesday, but it came Saturday, uh, sorry, Monday. So that was pretty quick. Um, yeah, I haven't tried it with the, with plugging it into the battery. This is actually my first time setting it up. So I might, um, try instead of using this here. Instead of using this um, universal adapter for power, I want to try it out with a with a like an external battery. Maybe that would be better for portability. I'm thinking I could probably bring it out of the house or somewhere else. And um, additionally, I'm looking into well, I, I have already ordered a small keyboard. It's actually a tablet keyboard, but it it works with the Raspberry Pi. So I'm getting a smaller keyboard and the mouse. Eh, I don't really want a smaller mouse, really. I kind of like the normal size. But that's pretty much my setup. And I'm just kind of playing around with things, seeing what's new, what's different. Uh, just the setups I like because I like playing around with hardware. So. Uh, well, thanks for watching, and I guess if you guys have any questions that I might be able to answer, feel free and ask questions. Alright, see you guys next time.